Hey guys, it's Johnny from JTK Gaming, and I haven't been around for a while. I haven't made a video on, I think it's three months or something, but my internet's been screwed, I've had problems, whatever. I'm back with a different build video to what I normally do. Now, this is, as you've probably seen in the thumbnail, one of the worst builds to play. The amount of damage you take is disgusting. But... The upside to it is everyone in your group's going to want to suck your dick because the debuffs that this build gives you are just insane. So why don't we get into it and have a look at what makes this build so good. This is going to be a bit of a different build video. It's not so much a build video as me highlighting a set more than anything else and explaining why this set should be used more in Cyrodiil. And that set is Vanguards. Now, Vanguards is treated like crap. It's abused. It's thrown aside. And no one gives a crap about this set. Now, the prices on the market reflect this because you can get purple rings for like 500 gold, you know, on a good day. And on a bad day, you can get a purple ring for like 900 gold. Now, that's ridiculous, like, for a set that's as good as this, when it's used properly, and I think that's the main problem here, I think it's a hard build to play, and you necessarily don't get any rewards as as an independent player, you know, you're, you're sacrificing a lot, and I think that's what it is, no one wants to sacrifice you know, this, they want to have the DPS and they want to have all the fun and stuff like that. They don't realize how beneficial this set could be to a group. Now, for the ones that don't know this set, which would probably be most of you guys, what it does is when you taunt an enemy player, they deal 50% less damage to all other players, but 100% more damage to you for 15 seconds. So... They basically, it makes the opposition hit your group like wet noodles. Uh, and that's the best way to sum it up. And just imagine someone that just can't quite, can't quite get hard. And he's slapping it around and trying to, you know, you know it's, it's just not going to do anything. It's useless, you know. It's floppy pieces of crap. And that's what they're like after they get taunted. Now, we make it even worse, you know, we rub it in even more with wizards. So, when you take critical damage, you apply minor maim to the enemy for 15 seconds, reducing their damage done by 15%. So, you know, when they're on the ground, you know, struggling to get up, we just kick them straight in the face and make sure they go down. They're hitting us for 35% of their damage, you know. They're not doing anything. They might as well just pack their bat and ball up and go home. But the downside to it is they hit you like a truck. So as long as you can stay alive, you know, this set and this build is amazing. So there's a few things you can do to help stay alive. And that is the reason why I chose a Magic Templar. Of course, you can play this on a DK, a Warden, whatever you like. As I said, I'm highlighting this set more than this build. So, that's why I chose the Templar, so I can have a high health Blazing Shield build as such in the central. That's basically what it is. I've got 40k health, so... What that does is enemies see my 40k health and they go, oh, fuck that, I'm going to hit the DPS that's got 20k, not the one that's got 40k. And they normally leave me alone. And that's normally what happens. They'll focus my DPS. And, you know, most of the time they don't even realize what's going on. They don't realize that they're hitting for fuck all. They just think that we're tanky. And the other thing that, you, that I mainly do, which is very untank like is I'll go in, I'll get my taunts off, and then I'm going to pull back behind the group. I might even pull behind the healers. You know, I want to get out of there. I've done my job. I've made sure that they're going to hit my group like wet noodles. Like, I don't need to be in front. I've done my job. I need to get at the back and basically hide. 
you know, just stay away from those guys because they're going to hit you like a truck and it isn't going to be pleasant if a few of them get on top of you. They're, they're basically going to stomp you in. So, as I said, guys, I wanted to highlight this build, uh, this set more than the build. You know, it, it is just so underrated. I only know of one other person that runs it, and he runs it so well. And, you know, I think people need to, you know, sacrifice a little bit more for the group. Uh, you know, I'm running Choke Fawn. The only reason I'm running Choke Fawn is because that's kind of what I had. You can run uh, Engine Guardian, Blood Spawn, you know, whatever you fancy. As, as I said, I will have the stats for my Lynch and Vanguard build in the description, along with a lot of other sets that you could use and try out. Work out what works for you guys. Work out what, you know, you feel comfortable playing and, you know, change your build. You know, if, if something's not right, fix it, you know, and then if something else pops up, fix that. It's an ongoing process. Like, I changed this build last minute because someone reminded me of Wizards, and I'm like, well, fuck yeah, I can give them a 65% debuff instead of a 50% debuff, and that's kind of where this build went. As I said, builds are ongoing things. They're never just, I've done my build and that's it. They're always evolving, and they always should be evolving, and if they're not, then... You know, you're not keeping up with the game because it's an MMO and it changes consi consistently. And if you don't change with the game, then you're going to get left behind. So, that's all I really wanted to talk about today. I'm going to try and have more videos out. Let me know if you like this kind of like me highlighting a set kind of uh, layout instead of a generic build video. And... But I will be doing some generic build videos like the, the old-fashioned way. You know, I'll go over all my stats and stuff like that. Uh, I've got a Stamina Warden build coming up that I'll, I'll do the, the old-fashioned way. But guys, please, you know, try this set out. And, and don't be scared to try some, some different sets out. And, you know, see what works for you. You might, you might have a blast. Anyway, uh, once again, guys, you know, it's, it's me, it's Johnny from JTK Gaming, and I will catch you later.